ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Streggy, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge. So fuck you. Over. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of What's in My Room, uh, put on by Delusions of Grandeur. Uh, I'm your host, David Streggy, and here I have uh, some films uh, uh, within my collection that are that begin with the letter Y, and I believe this is everything that I have uh, that technically starts with a Y. If I have any more, I'll create another uh, a, a video, um, starting with uh, uh, some of the new ones if I have any. So, um, the first one I have here is uh, called Year One with uh, Jack Black and uh, Michael Cera. And it's a comedy, and it's directed by Harold Ramis. And it's put out by Columbia Pictures and uh, Sony Pictures <coughs> Home Entertainment. <coughs> Uh, next I have Young at Heart. I believe this one is another one from that I got from Lomira video. If you can see, uh, see, uh, see that. So this one, uh, you're never too old to rock. <laughs> Evidently this one is directed by Stephen Walker. And it's from about 2008. And this was put out by 20th Century Fox, Fox Searchlight Pictures in association with Channel 4. Next, I have a film that uh, is directed by... <laughs> Brainwater Enterprises LLC <laughs> and it's got a short film on here call, uh, uh, called Trouble with Neurotin uh, which is about 10 minutes but it's called You Can't Rent Here Anymore and if I remember correctly this is directed by the same guy who uh, did the Evil Dead do uh, do uh, documentary. Uh, smarter and funnier than High Fidelity rivals Clerks. A cult blast, the kind of stuff real midnight movies are made of. From Lloyd Kauf uh, uh, Kaufman. Believe uh, uh, the... Uh, a film from the virus. So it doesn't really tell me uh, 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 who the director is, but I think it's uh, I, I think the na uh, name of uh, the uh, director's uh, first name is Ryan, um, and uh, I know I definitely have some more films directed by that particular 
person. The next uh, film I have here is a two-disc special edition of James Cagney um, in uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy. And uh, Joan Leslie, Walter Houston, Richard, D uh, uh, Richard Horf. Uh, the film was directed by Michael Curtis. And uh, the lyrics and music are by George M. Co uh, uh, Cohen. And I absolutely love this film. I will watch this uh, uh, this uh, movie every 4th of July if I, ca uh, I ca uh, can. I'm a Yankee Doodle dandy. Yankee Doodle do or die. Next, I have a film from the uh, Warner Brothers Archive Collection. And uh, this is one of the uh, more obscure Humphrey Bogart uh, uh, films, star uh, uh, also starring Billy Hallop, Joan Little, uh, uh, Littell, and Gail Page. It's based on a play by War Warden Lewis E. Laws. And it says, you can't get away with murder, uh, saying it's a dramatic bombshell. So, a killer hiding behind bars. <laughs> so, there I have that one. Next, I have a movie called Yes. And, let's see. It's directed by Sally Potter. Put out by Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Uh, Sony Pictures Classic Release, Green Street Films, and UK Film Council, along with uh, pre being presented by Adventure Pictures, and in association with Studio Fire Fearberg, uh, and it stars Joan Allen and Simon Ab Abkarian. So, evidently, it was an official selection of the 2005 Toronto Film Festival. So, that is yes. Next, I have a film that was put out by Magnolia Home Entertainment. And I'd picked this up from Dollar Tree. Uh, uh, tree. And the, uh, the film stars Chaz Palminteri and Christine Lottie in Yonkers Joe. And the film uh, was directed by Robert Celestino. So, curious about that fil uh, uh, film. Next uh, film is, uh, let's see, I'm trying to see, uh, see who directed this. Well, it stars Allison Hannigan and Frank Kranz, and it says, You Might Be the Killer. And it looks like it's directed by Brett Simons. And it's put out by Screen Media. by Carmudgeon Films in association with Vital Signs Entertainment. I hate to say this, but you might be the killers. The story of Sam, played by Fran Kranz, a regular guy who finds himself on the run from a masked serial killer that has been brutally murdering his fellow camp counselors. Desperate, Sam reaches out to his friend Chuck, played by Allison ha Hannigan, who is an expert in all things horror. She becomes Sam's lifeline as he tries to evade death by avoiding common horror tropes and uh, to save his friends. But when Chuck challenges Sam with the, uh, uh, the notion that Sam himself might be the killer, Sam must race to uncover the, hunt the hunting truth of the masked maniac's identity and the masked masks supernatural powers before it's too late so there i have you might be the uh, you might be the killer <laughs> next i have an arrow film uh called yakuza law and it's a film by teruo ish ishi 
Uh, and he's behind Blind Woman's Curse, Horrors of Malformed Men. Going to check that out eventually. Here I have a Western. Uh, this is directed by John Kent Harrison. And it was, on t it was a TNT original and an Ancient Mariner uh, production. And it was distributed by Warren, Warner Brothers. It's called You Know My Name. And it stars Sam Elliott and Arliss Howard. Next, I have a classic cartoon animation. It's the Beatles in the Yellow Submarine. And the film... I'm trying to figure out who the film was directed by. I'm not exactly sure. Cast and crew and voice talents. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure, uh, sure uh, entirely, but it's the Beatles' Yellow Submarine animation, and I know that this was the remastered uh, 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 version. It's called Yellow Submarine. Next, I have Yokai Monster Spook Warfare, and this is directed by believe Yoshiyuki Kuroda <laughs> the most bizarre monsters the world has ever seen while storing the ruins of Babylonia thieves unearth the ancient tomb of Daemon the wicked vampire demon Daemon flees to Japan where he takes possession of Lord Isobi's uh, soul and begins to feed on innocent townspeople. An astute villager suspects the local patriarch is a bloodthirsty demon and seeks help from friendly yokai, spirit monsters, to uncover the truth. Will the army of yokai be enough to help vanquish the dreaded demon? Or will the villagers fail, uh, fall prey to the uh, to an unspeakable fate. Spook warfare, the struggle for the soul of one and the fate of many. <laughs> ADVfilms.com, I guess. Rubber suit. Pictures, I think. <laughs> That looks interesting. Next, I have the Kevin Smith film, Yoga Housers. And this was put out by Invincible Pictures with Starstream Media and Absolutia Films with XYZ Films. Along with Destro Films and Smood Smodcast Pictures. <laughs> and the film stars Lily Rose Depp, Harley Quinn Smith, Kevin Smith, and Johnny Depp. Interesting. And weird all in one. Next I have a red carpet double feature with You Can't Hurry Love and Love Hurts. Um, Sally Kellerman, David Le uh, Leisure, Christy McNichol, and Charles Grodin is, uh, are in You Can't Hurry Love, and Jeff Daniels, Judith L Ivey, John Mahoney in Love Hurts, a uh, painfully romantic comedy. And You Can't Hurry Love is di uh, directed by Richard Martini. Bud Yorkin is the director of Love Hurts. Next, I have a movie uh, uh, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, 
and it's uh, 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 titled Youth Without Youth. It's a Sony Pictures classic. Well, I thought it was directed by him. Eric and Zocho presents Tim Roth with Alexandria Maria Lara and Bruno Gantz and Andre M. Henneke. So, yep, it was directed by Francis Ford Coppola. So, Youth Without Youth. Next, I have a film called You're Nobody Till Somebody Kills You. And that is directed by Michael A. Pinkney. And it's put out by Lionsgate with, loco, uh, with locomotive distribution, <coughs> which is with class... Chi Productions, Black Noise Media, and, like I said, Locomotive uh, Distribution. So, and of course, Lionsgate is owned by Disney. Next, I have Yor, the Hunter from the Future. And this is a Columbia pic uh, Pictures uh, film put out uh, by... Sony Pictures Home Entertainment, and it's directed by Anthony M. Dawson. Next, I have an independent uh, uh, film that is directed by Monroe Mann, Ronnie Khalil, and George Valdez Iga, or Iga. And it's put out by Big Big Screen uh, Big Screen Ho uh, Entertainment Group. It's also a local Don, uh, Don and Clownfish production in association with Main Studios. It's called "You Can't Kill Stephen King," <laughs> and the it was a mistake to visit his lake. And it was win uh, winner of the Audience Award, Louis. Luston Auburn Film Festival, official selection of the New Orleans Horror Festival, official selection of Bram Stoker's International Film Festival, and it's an official selection of Razor Reel International Film Festival. So it's got a few laurels on it, to say the least. Next, I have Young Detective D, Rise of the Sea Dragon, from legendary action director Sue Hark, uh, the creators of the international smash hit Detective D, Mystery of the Phantom Flame. This is the beginnings of, uh, of him. So this is Sue Hark's Young Detective D, Rise of the Sea Dragon. I should uh, look into getting the mystery of the fa uh, Phantom Lake or whatever, uh, whatever that uh, that it talks about. So next, I have Mel Brooks, uh, a Mel Brooks film called Young Frankenstein, classic comedy, and as we know, it's directed by Mel Brooks and stars Gene Wilder, Peter Boyle, Marty Feldman. Cloris Leachman and uh, co-stars Terry Garr. Next, I have Young Guns, and this was the artisan uh, version of Young uh, Guns. Still have to p uh, pick up Young Guns too. This one is directed by Christopher Kane. And it stars Emilio Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland, Lou Diamond Phillips, Charlie Sheen, Dermot Mulroney, and Casey Simasco uh, in Young Guns. <laughs> Should be entertaining to watch again. Next I have Your Highness, which stars Danny McBride, James Franco, 
Natalie Portman. And it's written by Danny McBride and Ben Best. And it's directed by David Gordon Green. It's a universal picture. Using Stuber Pictures. James Franco, I guess, is in it. Next, I have You Guy O, the movie. Everything else was just practice. You Guy O, the movie. It's from Warner Home Video. So I'll check that out eventually. Next I have a copy of Your Name, which was a very beautiful film about two totally different times. At times, a young man and a young woman who end up connecting through each uh, through each other th uh, over a span of years and still falling in love with each other separated by distance con uh, uh, connected by fate very beautiful film um, best animated uh, uh, feature nominee best animated feature winner best an animated film uh, film winner with uh, Sykes International Fantastic Film, Los Angeles Film Critics Association Award, Annie Awards, and Japan Academy Prize Animation of the Year nominee. So your name was def. I'm I'm glad that I was able to get to see that film. And last but not least, this is a Criterion Collection copy of Young Mr. Lincoln, and I guess. I guess this film was directed by John Ford and Henry Fonda. It was uh, their first collaboration together. Uh, so I'm I'm definitely looking forward to eventually checking this uh, this particular film out. Uh, so um, in any case, hopefully you enjoyed my. Um, description of this uh, the, uh, this these films like and subscribe to my page if you have not I'm definitely always collecting um, if I'm missing any uh, that start with uh, with a Y um, that uh, that you think I'm missing you can definitely let uh, let me know um, I know that I love collecting and I just love sharing my collection uh, with y'all so Thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Thank you for watching. And this has, these have been my whys uh, so far. So thank you so much. Enjoy. And uh, I'll definitely have some more cool stuff to show you in the, uh, in the uh, somewhat near future. Thank you so much. You were good, kid. Real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?